Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel, Red Elevator. Today, we are going to look at holiday decor like you've never seen. Trust me, you haven't seen this before. Follow me. And since so many of you asked today, I am wearing head to toe Tory Burch. This is the Wool Bustier from the new collection. This is winter 2022, along with these wool pants. They are warm, they're gorgeous. This corset, by the way, is the bomb. It has interior lining. It's got this gorgeous silk detail. It's got this sparkly top. So this is a really fun holiday decor. Additionally, I am wearing all Tory Burch jewelry, my absolute favorite. The quality of these pieces and, and Tory's clothing, I have to say, is up there with couture. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is incredible. This jewelry is called the Brutalist Oyster Collection, and I don't think I can live without it. It's that festive time of year when all of us are stressing out to do our holiday decor. And this episode, this year, 2022, I wanted to show you how I decorated my home so that I can give you perhaps some ideas and how to do things slightly differently. I wanted to thank all of you for being on this journey with me in 2022, to thank you for all of your comments, all of the love, and to tell you how much I appreciate you. If you guys need help with holiday decor or whether you have a design dilemma, if it's 15 minutes or longer, you can certainly book me on my Zoom link below in the description section. So this holiday season, I decided that I was gonna forego the large Christmas tree and instead spend um, a lot of time decorating what would be something a little bit more unusual and to create a foyer that was festive, but a little bit out of the ordinary. I do love a little bit of tradition and history, therefore I brought out some of the things that have meaning to me. And you guys always remember how much I love my reindeers. I got these at an estate sale. These reindeers are very special to me and they come out every holiday season and they make their appearance throughout the house in different parts of the house. Sometimes I have them on my dining room table as centerpieces. Other times I put them on my foyer table and this year I have put them both on my foyer table and also on the mantel. I decided for my centerpiece that I was going to use pine obviously because that's Christmas but then I was going to really switch it up by adding amaranth. So we have a plethora of amaranth here as our base. Additionally, I have added a lot of pine branches that I got from the flowers from a wholesale flower market. You guys can source these either at Trader Joe's or you can go to your local flower market, but they are inexpensive and they have that beautiful Christmas pine scent without having to get an entire tree. Then I added the red ginger throughout this centerpiece and brought in some birds of paradise to give it that California tropical vibe. Even though it's winter, it is very warm in California and it's nice to be able to bring some of that tropical vibe into the house, but then keep the tradition of having the pine branches. I bought a pre-made wreath downtown. It was very inexpensive. I think it was $20, but it looked a little bit too generic and commercial. So what we did was we added these beautiful pine branches that were left over from the centerpiece and tied them with wire ribbon. It was really simple. This gives it a little bit more of a sort of architectural, a little bit more whimsical and a little bit more elevated look for absolutely no money. I went crazy over the mantle this season. Typically, I just put my faux garland on and then I concentrate on lots of different areas. But this year, I really wanted the mantle to stand out and I wanted that to be the centerpiece because of the fact that I didn't put up a tree. So how did we do this? Very simple. First, we layered in the faux garland. It's important to have the faux garland, even though I love fresh, so that it can hold all of the fresh materials. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to maintain for a long period of time. Pre-lit, battery-powered, battery-operated faux garland. I'm gonna actually add that in the description section because I got it from Amazon and it's great. Anyway, that was placed uh, beautifully on the mantle. And then what I did was start to insert the pine branches that we bought again for the centerpiece. We started inserting them haphazardly. It's important, we've talked about this before, that when you're doing your decor, don't go for absolute symmetry because then it looks orchestrated and fake. You want it to have an artsy vibe and in order to get the artsy element, what you have to do is sporadically place these branches without giving it much thought 
even if you were to close your eyes and do it, you'll have a better shot at getting it done professionally than actually overthinking it. So we placed a lot of these pine branches in and then we did something really interesting. In addition to all the flowers that I mentioned, I did purchase some eucalyptus leaves. These leaves, I like the fact that they're very whimsical and they have a lot of movement. I wanted the fireplace to be very whimsical, to have a lot of movement and sort of have that raw, fun, edgy type of decor, which I was concentrating on this particular season. So I added those beautiful elements into the wreath itself and it gave it a lot of volume, which I was looking for. It brings in the scent of eucalyptus and it just makes it super artsy. We trickled in some pine cone that I had from you know many seasons past. I always keep them in Ziploc bags. I threw them on. I also added walnuts to it that I actually purchased that are ready with a nutcracker for people to eat. And then of course I brought in my favorite deer, my doe, the deer, my brass family, and place them sporadically within this particular mantle. Then we added the Illusion Amber CB2 ornaments that I purchased. I bunched three of them together, and that's really easy to do because it already comes with wire, and you take the wire and you add the wire to the garland because the pre-lit garland already comes with wires within the pine. So it's really easy to wrap it and keep it securely on your mantle. The very last thing I did was add a pair of candlesticks. You can add anything in that position. You could add, whether it's a nutcracker, or even a statue that's already in your home. I had those candlesticks. You can place an objet that you like that's in your home in that space so that you can balance it with any other items that you have on your mantle. For my coffee table, I decided to add the CB2 Radiant Metallic Balls. These are ornaments that I placed in a decorative dish I already owned on the coffee table. Again, I will link all of the items that I'm discussing that are available in the description section so you guys can get them too. They're priced very well. And what I love about these metallic balls is that the colors are spot on for the look that I was trying to achieve. Nothing elevates a space more in the winter time during the holiday than candles. If you were to spend nothing at all, I recommend that you at least buy candles. You can forego decor and just bring candles out and you will evoke the vibe of the holidays. And that's why I put my votives all around this foyer table and throughout the house. Now, I didn't light them for you because we're filming, it's daytime so you don't get the effect, but at night it really is heartwarming. And you can just get votives from anywhere, stick them in little votive holders and place them sporadically. Remember, everything must be sporadic on your table, on an entrance table, on your coffee table, really anywhere where you're going to sit and enjoy the holiday season, light them up and enjoy them. Thank you, my beautiful, wonderful, kind followers. I hope that you enjoyed this holiday episode. I hope that you have a wonderful season with your family and your loved ones. Remember what's important, it really isn't all the material things, although that's basically what we talk about on the channel. It's really about the love, it's about the friendship, it's about your health and it's about your family. So. Take this time to enjoy yourselves and happy holidays. We're not gonna see you back here until 2023. So I wanna wish you guys a wonderful time. We love you here from the Red Elevator and we're gonna have a great 2023 together.